All right, welcome to episode 16 of WSD in the Loop. Where we get you everything you need to know in two minutes or less. Let's go! Ooh, ooh, me, 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 me. Um, do you have any tips for what I should do at the end of the school year? I recommend you take about 10 minutes at the end of the year and go through your Google Drive or It's Running files and just start cleaning things up. So all of those things you've created but didn't put them in a folder yet, take a few minutes to get those organized. Is there an easy way to do that? A quick way to start is to actually just do a search in Google Drive for anything untitled. So if you type untitled in the search bar, it'll bring up a lot of documents you probably started but never actually finished. And it's a quick, easy way to delete some of the extra files you might have in your Google Drive. All right, tip two is all about reflecting on the school year. So now is the perfect time to really start looking at all the different lessons and activities and things that you did over the school year. If you're looking to do this in its learning, you can actually create an extra column in the planner and label it teacher notes. This is a great way to reflect on each individual lesson that you ran through the school year. Another way that you could do this is by creating a Google Doc and labeling it Spring 2019 Reflection. This will help you keep track of it and then in the fall you'll be able to go back to it and reflect on the things that you've done. For more information, check out the print edition. Tip number three is for those of you who wanted to start working on stuff over the summer in its learning. If you're collaborating with other people, it's easiest to work in some kind of master hub. So if you're in its learning, create a new course, share it with your other teachers that you're working with, and create all your resources and adjust from that one master hub. If you're creating resources on your own for your course, it's easiest just to work in your current course from this year. That way when we get to the fall and it's time to refresh all of your courses, we can just transfer all of your stuff right from the old course. Oh, hello there. The Technology Department is releasing Academies again this fall. If you're interested in learning about the Google tools, go ahead and take the Google Academy. If you're looking to flip and blend your instruction, go ahead and take the Blending the Content Academy. Both academies are great ways to change your instruction and to really learn about flipping and blending your learning. The other two academies that the Technology Department is offering is the Apple Academy and the Great Learning Academy. The Apple Academy is all about learning about those Apple tools and how to increase student engagement and teacher efficiency. And the Great Learning Academy is an extension of that first academy. The Apple Academy is a prerequisite for the Great Learning Academy. All right, thanks for watching episode 16 of In The Loop. We want to thank the school for us for letting us come out and film on site today. So this is our last episode of the season. We want to thank everybody for staying with us and watching all these episodes with us. We hope you have an enjoyable and safe summer. We'll see you in the fall. See ya.